Hi, my name's Derek Skidmore and I'm the Machine Shop Supervisor at Ford Performance Racing. On this episode of Crim Safe Talking Tech, I'm going to take you through the machine shop. A lot of people are really surprised that we have a manufacturing division here. Um, so here we have about two and a half million dollars worth of equipment. Over here we have a seven axis machine, a five axis machine, a two axis machine, and a five axis machine. Um, to run these machines we have four very highly skilled tradesmen. Um, they're all ma uh, qualified machinists. Today I'm going to show you how we're going to machine this component out of this billet. So the job starts off out of this billet. That's opt one, and then we have the finished component here. So most of our steels are chrome moly and aluminium. Um, we use 4140 and 4130. We use 7000 series, which is an aluminium used in the aircraft industry. And we make most of our high pressure components that need real strength out of that. We also use 2011 and 6000 series. There are other alloys um, such as titanium, but we're not allowed to use it in V8 supercars. It's part of the cost containment, so none of the teams are allowed to use it. It's actually against the rules. So we're upstairs in our design department with Glenn Rees, our head designer. And Glenn on screen has a outboard end that we're about to machine today. So Glenn design, designs a component up here. He produces us a drawing and then he sends it downstairs to us, to the machine shop, and that's where we generate the CAM programs. Okay, so we've moved back down to the machine shop and we're in front of the computer and here's the component that Glenn designed and we're about to generate the CAM programs. So Brendan currently at the moment is just uh, generating the programs, selecting cutters, speeds, feeds to generate the cutter paths. And then once he generates those cutter paths, we'll export them out to the CNC's and press the go button and start cutting. I'm here with Brendan, our machinist, and Greg from Sandvik. Greg's out here to help us with a bit of advice. We have a 38 tool turret here full of tools, cutters, boring bars, turning tools. We are uh, here to support FBR with um, choosing the, the right tool for the right application. Um, we're not a company that make parts ourselves, um, our customers do and FPR does. What we need to understand first is the features of those parts and then by knowing those features and the materials and the type of machines they've got, that then helps us define the right tool for the application. Um, and then we work with, with FPR, then with that application on, on the part, we then choose the right insert and then we also help them with the right cutting data, so the speeds and the feeds to help FPR be as produce these parts as fast as they can, which improves their performance here in the workshop. Joining me now is Peter from uh, Sandvik Coromit. Peter, um, we have to do things very quickly here in response, and uh, your shop online system helps us do that. Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, it's certainly a system that when we installed it into FPR, we thought it's got to be something that's going to allow you to have the tools exactly when you need them and the right tools turning up on your doorstep within 24 hours. And as you know, with 55,000 line items uh, 24 hours away, it allows you to keep minimal stock and it allows you to really focus on what's important to you and that is getting cars out on the racetrack. Yeah, that's right. I mean, one of our problems is the engineers design things very quickly and we have to have a response. And with your shop online system, we've found that as long as we get our order in by 4 o'clock, it's here the next day and we're cutting and it's absolutely fantastic. So we've seen the component from the design up in the CAD department to the drawings from the concept down into the machine shop where we saw we generated the CAD programs and we saw that it starts in a billet and the other pieces. So now in the machine here we have the component semi-roughed out and nearly finished. It's quite a quick process. The whole process takes about five or six hours to get it to this stage. We have to produce these parts fast and efficiently. One thing that does go on in here, I'm only going to make about 20 of these components because they could be obsolete by the time I've finished making it. The guys upstairs will already be uh, working on a new part to make it go faster, it could be lighter, and so we, we don't make a lot. And this is what we have to do to keep ahead of the game, to, be, to try and keep being at the front of the V8 supercars. 
We've been robbed a couple of times actually. So we had this screen installed. For cheap alternative. They look identical. So you think you're getting an equivalent product and you're not. Most crimp safe lookalikes can pop out because they're only held in with a piece of plastic. But crimp safe screw clamp locks the mesh and spreads the impact. Solid and sturdy and definitely instills a lot of confidence in us. If you pay for what you get, crimp safe is definitely the way to go. Yeah. Better off paying the extra and getting the better product. Because if it's not crimp safe, it's not crimp safe.